Well, we got it. We got that news we were waiting for this whole time. Red Dead Redemption 1 is back, but not in the way we hoped for. Let's have a quick talk and discuss what's going on. So by now you all have heard about the Red Dead Redemption 1 news, and so far the reception seems very mixed, to put it nicely. I'm conflicted myself. This whole time, all the insiders were hyping it up to be a big remaster, an overhaul of the game, but it turns out it was all false, and I myself feel very dumb for believing them. Rockstar Games announced the return of Red Dead Redemption 1, but it's just a port of the game. Nothing new or changed. Red Dead Redemption and Undead Nightmare is coming to the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation 4 August 17th, with physical copies being released a little later in October. This is a simple port. There's no graphical updates, no frame rate updates, no remake, no remaster, not even multiplayer. Just a simple port of the original game, and the hilarious part of it all is the fact that it isn't even coming to PS5 or PC. Just PS4 and Switch. Calling this a disappointment and lazy is an understatement. Sure, while it's disappointing that it isn't a remaster or remake even, the fact that it is just a barebones port with no update or change in the performance is just unbelievable. It's lazy. Rockstar is extremely lazy. Yes, the studio is busy with GTA 6. Why allocate resources to something like a Red Dead Redemption 1 remaster? I get that argument, but at, at this point, is this any better? It's just a 2010 game with absolutely nothing done to it. Undead Nightmare will be included, which is pretty sweet, but that isn't enough. Rockstar completely dropped the ball on this, and honestly, I would have rather have them hold off on anything Red Dead Redemption in order to get a remaster in the future, or just have them focus entirely on a new Red Dead when GTA 6 is finished. Hell, I'd rather they just never brung back Red Dead 1 to begin with at this point. I already mentioned how disappointing it is that it isn't a remake or remaster, but with the port you think there'd be some updates to it. Better frame rates, cleaner visuals, something. What makes this worse is that they're charging $50 for this. $50 for a bare bones port of a 13 year old game. That's abysmal and lazy. Truth be told, while a remake or remaster would have been great so we can get some updated visuals and dialogue to connect better with Red Dead 2, I'd argue that wasn't necessarily needed for something to happen. Red Dead 1's story is connected enough to Red Dead 2 without needing to go too crazy to change things. Sure, it retcons events in the prequel, but it still gives enough of an indication that the worlds are connected without needing to overhaul the story and change it. The likeliest thing that could have happened was this. A modern version of Red Dead 1 with cleaner visuals, 60 frames, and a release on the newest consoles, and most importantly PC, at a much more reasonable price was expected more than anything, and Rockstar couldn't even give us that. A PC port has been in demand for years, and they once again dropped the ball with that. This would be more forgiving if the price wasn't absolutely ridiculous either, and they at the very least put it on PS5. They were talking about in their trailers and in their posts about bringing Red Dead 1 to modern consoles when they didn't even bring it to modern consoles. They brought it to last generation consoles, and again, they skipped PC. I already know you people in the comments will say, oh, but Jay, PS5 plays PS4 games anyway. So, who cares? That's true, but that still doesn't make it right now, does it? Rockstar has been disappointing many, many people with many things, especially the Red Dead fans with the awful treatment of Red Dead Online and now this disaster class we received here. They've been receiving a lot of backlash about this everywhere on Twitter, YouTube. They're talking heavy about putting this game on modern consoles, while once again, not putting it on modern consoles. Rockstar constantly goes on and on and on about how they don't do just simple ports and simple remasters. Well, that certainly aged like milk considering they couldn't even do a port properly for a 13 year old game. There's two simple things that could have been done to help lower the backlash and that's by simply releasing the game on PS5 and PC and then charging a better price for them what we're getting. Something like this shouldn't be more than $30. There's almost zero incentive to buy this game right now outside of new fans finally being able to experience it. And I'd argue that it's better to wait for a good sale before buying it, even for new fans. I love Red Dead Redemption. It's by far Rockstar's best series and it, and it deserves way better than what it's getting right now. This is just another disappointment in Rockstar's very strange stretch of odd decisions. I just had to make a quick discussion video on the subject to express some disappointment and to spark a conversation with you guys. What do you guys think of this Red Dead Redemption news? Are you happy, excited, disappointed, more than likely disappointed. What did you want to see for this game? Leave a comment and let's talk. As always, I'm always down to have a conversation. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more awesome content from this channel. Jables Game signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Plenty more on the way.